all hell vatu and understand the dark side of waterbending. Haven't you ever wanted to change? Become tougher, stronger, be a better hunter, be a better fighter. And it's only natural you want to change for the better. You're a waterbender after all, and water is the element of change. So why would you let something as silly as morality keep you complacent? The only way to win is to change by unlocking the true dark side powers of waterbending. Did you know, since water exists in all life, you can pull it right out of them to use towards your own ends? You don't need to be by a lake. It doesn't need to be raining. Water is your loyal servant. Draw it forth and command it as you will, and it shall appear and it shall obey. And once you realize, my clueless students, the affinity of dark side waterbending, that is when you unlock its greatest power, bloodbending. As humans, we don't just rely on water, we're made mostly of it. It flows through us like blood. Hence, during a full moon, when a waterbender strength is at its peak, you'll be able to control people, bend their bodies to your will, like puppets, like marionette dolls. And there will be little anyone will be able to do to stop you as you utilize this quote-unquote forbidden, illegal bending ability. And if you fully give yourself over to the dark side of water bending, then you can use this ability to even take away someone's bending. And honestly, I shouldn't say more. I've already should have sold you on this much. But if you're still not convinced that the dark side of water bending is for you, my thick headed students, then I point you towards spirit bending. This unparalleled water bending ability allows you to bend the energy within spirits to turn them from light to dark and then control said dark spirits as your loyal servants. You can even utilize spirit bending to destroy someone's soul. So if you want to join the dark side of water bending, like, share, subscribe, and follow. All hail Vatu and understand the dark side of earth bending. Numbers, it's all about numbers. The majority, who's stronger, mass matters. And earthbenders are the strongest and we are the many which means we matter most. And the dark side of earthbending will make you so much stronger than you even could imagine. All that hate, all that pain, never let it go. You have to be unmovable. You have to be stagnant. You have to be unchangeable. Because that is where true strength lies. Strength to crush your enemies. Strength to lead the weak. Strength to gather the strong. Strength to create a massive empire unlike any the world has ever seen. Never fold. Never doubt. Never hesitate. Those are the signs of weakness. And you are strong. You're an earthbender after all. And the dark side of earthbending will allow you to possess a plethora of different styles and abilities. One of which will allow you to truly use the might of metal bending the way it was supposed to be, as a weapon. Slice and dice, restrain and constrict your enemies. Overwhelm them with the power of your earthbending. Turn their rock-like fighting spirit into pebbles. Ever heard of making a mountain out of a molehill? With a dark side of earthbending, you can do the total opposite. Crush anything in your way. Anything that is an obstacle that keeps you from winning, succeeding, from victory. You never move. You make them move. That is what dark side of earthbending is about. And if you're one of the chosen few, 
destined to bring the Earth Kingdom to a better future, you could potentially be a lava bender. Lava benders are the strongest type of earth benders, having all of that destructive power within their grip. They can tear down giant walls, flood towns and cities with unstoppable burning lava, all within an instant, and then cool it back down to regular earth just as quickly. Lava benders are the pinnacle of earth bending. And if you are truly destined to rise up in the ranks of dark side earthbenders, then you might very well be one. But even if you're not, whether you're a metal bender or just an average earthbender, you could still become stronger, become unstoppable. Feed your earthbending with nothing but unchangeable doubt and immovable spirit, and you'll be shook by how strong you become. If you truly want power, then you grab it. If someone tries to take it from you, then you crush them. It's as simple as that. So like, share, subscribe, and follow to join the dark side of earthbending. And become great if you dare. All hail Vatu and come to know the dark side of firebending. Let your enemies burn as it will lead you towards the true path of the flame. Firebending has always been meant to be utilized as a weapon to serve your own desires, what you truly believe in. Many say it's the element of destruction. Good. What better purpose to serve than that? If they fear it, better to subjugate them with it then. And the only way one can truly learn how to bring out the unparalleled power of firebending is to learn the dark side of it. With the dark side of firebending, not only can one learn how to shoot out hot explosive flames, but can even go beyond that, learning how to shoot quick and deadly lightning. Yeah, you heard me, lightning. Like the ones that can instantly electrocute those that get in your way. A deadly technique indeed. But if you want even more power and are willing to stake your life over getting it, good. That shows passion and that will go to stoke your fire even more and make it even stronger. Maybe you'll be able to survive to learn the power of combustion bending. A powerful fire bending subset skill utilized by the greatest of fire bending assassins, which will allow you to shoot out from your forehead and control the trajectory of super powered beams of heat that explode your target on contact. Being so strong in fact, that regardless of what type of bender you go up against, it'll allow you to overwhelm them. Yes indeed, the dark side of firebending is a pathway to many abilities and skills weaker minds would find to be barbaric and unnatural, but let their cries fall on deaf ears when it comes to using said power to conquer lands and devastate all that gets in your way. So go ahead and do yourself a favor, join the dark side of firebending today as well as like, share, subscribe, and follow. All hail Vatu and understand the dark side of airbending. Whether you were just some average person lucky enough to gain airbending through harmonic convergence, whether you were somehow a survivor of the Fire Nation siege on the four air temples, or whether you were simply an air nomad who lost his way and no longer believed in the so-called wise monk's teachings of peace and preservation of life, it's okay to ditch it. It's only holding you back. Why utilize your powerful airbending abilities for the benefit of others when you can use it to strike fear and pain into the minds and bodies of those who would dare betray or hurt you? The Fire Nation didn't hesitate when they wiped your nation clean off the map, so why should you? You have yet to fully understand the power of the dark side of airbending. The true heights it can take you to. All you have to do is stop holding on and stop holding back. One power that can be unlocked once you stop holding back your rage and anger is a destructive ability that was once unique to Avatar Yang Chin but can be learned by all airbenders. By consistently training your lungs, you can use airbending to magnify the sounds created by your screams into destructive, powerful sound waves. 
rupturing people's eardrums, making them bleed, as well as allowing you to part ways and crush stones with just a shout. And another extremely useful power that is taught to be forbidden is the ability to take people's breath away, easily ending them without the need to fight them. And the last, most coveted power that can truly be honed through the dark side of airbending is the power of pure flight. But to gain this miraculous power, one must detach himself from all things, which weaklings will always struggle with. But to be truly strong with the dark side of airbending, you must truly let go of all your hesitation and all your limits to truly rise above it all and become as free as air itself. For more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Ring that notification bell and comment your thoughts below.